the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of high now before i get into it make sure i look at the links down below you can find my patreon where i am 10 episodes ahead with the full reactions available and you can find my discord come on in and join our little server you know what i'm saying um so the last episode of high was an episode actually um given to nekoma right we're, we're taking a little break from the inarizaki and katasuno match where i think katasuno is up uh, just barely right that's that, that that's our, that's already a good ass match as it is top three seed inarizaki having trouble with katasuno amazing um but last episode was focused on nekoma uh specifically on uh kenma and um tora right um pre pretty much two sides of the same coin kenma very docile otaku introvert um tora extrovert very loud um, on the same team, uh, but they both have one thing in common, uh, and w one of their main parts of their personalities is they don't want to lose, and, I mean, they try their hardest to win, right? They're very tenacious in that sense, and because of that, they make for great teammates, right? Um, but the enemy, the, the, the opponents right now, uh, their strategy is... Um, I guess they saw that they couldn't beat Nekoma in a straight up dog fight. They couldn't beat them in a normal volleyball game. So instead, their their strategy is to tire out the setter, uh, which is Kenma, who apparently does have a stamina problem. And he's already sweating bullets after the first set. Um, so, you know, as much as that's, you know, kind of a underhanded back way kind of way to win that strategy. And this is nationals. All right. You got to do whatever it takes. As long as it's legal to win these matches in nationals, and that's a great ass strategy. I can't even be mad. I, I, of course, I'd be mad if I was Kenma or the or the opposing team. But you know, uh, that, that kind of reminds me of uh, you know the hack a shack um, in in NBA on why that was created. It was created because Shaq was so fucking good that they had to shut him down, and the only way to shut him down was to abuse the rules and hack a shack them force them on the free throw line you know what i'm saying so that, that's kind of similar in this sense they're, they're trying to make them tired and it looks like it's working so but we we have seen from the last episode that kenma is also um even though he is an otaku he is an introvert he, uh, he has stamina problems he wants to win more than anything so hopefully we see that shine through in this episode here and they pull through and nekoma makes it through because hey the ideal finals for me the the fantasy finals for me would be nekoma versus katasuno that would be the ultimate finals i would in a five setter oh my god i would love that so of course that means i want katasuno to keep going and nekoma to keep winning right so anyway that's where we are so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it this is high q season 4 episode 18 like and subscribe Oh no, his legs are giving up. Ah, uh, come on, Kenma. Come on, my, go my boy. Damn. Yeah, he needs to get his second wind. So, that's some pretty decent logic. That coach is, uh, you know, uh, wants quality over quantity. Or, sorry, quantity over quality, in this sense. Just making sure Kenma keeps running and running. I really fuck with the headbands that the other team is wearing. That's cool. Nice receiver. Nice set, Kenma. Good decisions. Yeah, we kind of need to win now, right? We need to win now because if it goes more sets, Kenma is fucking exhausted. What the hell is happening? What the fuck? Bro. <laughs> Kenma. I love his calm, cool, collective attitude. He's just like always in the zone. Always making the right decisions. That was sick the way that he was just gliding. 
たまに使う手ではありますが毎回じゃないよ有効なタイミングの時にねそりゃあ指示通りの位置に上げろって言われたらやるけどお前すでにバテバテなのに大丈夫かよ俺だってちょっとくらいなら動けるから Interesting So the reason why he's asking for sloppy receives is because it's like um it's like what whatever Kema does next is like you can't really guess because it's sloppy, right? And he's a good enough setter to where he can get it to wherever he wants. Doesn't matter what kind of receive he gets. And of course his he's a god at just reading the floor. Like he's the point guard. Point god, I should say. <laughs> ブロックをボールとミドルブロッカーで引きつけてトスは遠くへ振るそして向こうが気づいたら反対側の使い時ダーン Dude I can already see how playing as Nekoma is fucking hard cause you got bro Kenma is the heart and soul of that team this man is the computer Holy shit. <笑>一本を意識すぎんな。このセット取り切ることだけ考えよう。はい。まさか序盤からあやつっていたつもりがあやつられていた。ちょっとセットが呼ばれたのに交代の気配がない。まさかこっちの油断をさせて。Damn, <笑> That's awesome. How we were able to turn the enemy's plan against them? もしネコマが意図的にレシーブの乱れを入れ込んでたならコズメをつぶす作戦と気づいてさらにコズメへの負荷の追い打ちをかけてるってことどうですかここに安定した勝利なんてないこれ知ってるニュースでしょああうん do we know who this guy is supposed to be? Is he some kind of all-star player? Like, he's, he's providing a lot of feedback, good feedback on these matches. Or who is this guy? <laughs> Sorry, I, I wasn't paying attention or something. I don't know who he is. He must be someone important. That's actually kind of a badass simple slogan. We'll just get used to it. <laughs> I like that actually for Nekoma. We'll just get used to it. Karasunos is fly. Nekoma is just, we'll just get used to it. That's badass actually. I mean, especially nowadays where we're in the times where simple is more. That's dope. Ooh. Damn, the animation for just the volleyball is so good, dude. They make the simple plays look so awesome. <laughs>。Nice。Okay. Come on. One more, Nakuma. Come on, boys. Damn. I mean, I'm all about Katasuno, but dude, I want Nekoma to win almost just as much right now. I'm cheering for them, man. Let's fucking go, boys. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? How did they... See, that was such a simple play, but the music, the setup, and the aftermath of Kenma just like, yes, gave me goosebumps. This anime does such a good job of, of moments, man. Holy fuck. I know I keep saying that. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but damn, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give appreciation where it should be given. <laughs> Like, we've seen that play, honestly, so many times in this anime, right? But it's not watered down at all because it's just the way they set it up. Man, amazing, dude. Amazing. I mean, shit, I'm fucking tired of seeing Rasengan's in Naruto. I'll tell you that much. 
僕が思っていたよりずっと好戦的でした時には俺が思っている以上に好戦的だよがお前たちも強かった猿川工業 Oh yeah, it was definitely a GG. They had a great strategy. It's just, hey man, Ken Kenma's a computer. You know what I'm saying? So, so he saw through it and built a, a, a reverse strategy towards that. <laughs> Let's go. And you know what? Throughout this whole experience of playing volleyball, we'll have Kenma start speaking more. Right? It's a win win. <laughs> Fuck yeah, baby. The mindset of a gamer, I love it. We are Kenma, guys. Well, at least I am. <laughs> oh, shit. They're next. They're next. They're next. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know I want it to be the finals, but as long as they play against each other, I'm cool. So wait, what is that? Is that the semis? If we advance, that, that's either the quarters or the semis. I hope it's the quarters, because if it's the semis, we're already going to be almost done. So I think it's the quarters. Oh, shit. Already? I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Again, I wanted it. You know, it, it, it would have been ideal for me for to play against Nekoma in the finals. Because, I mean, it, it's the team we haven't beaten yet, and Nekoma has always been a beast. But the fact that if we win against Inarizaki and play against Nekoma next, I'm cool with that. Um, as long as they play against each other once, and as long as Katasuno maybe finally beats them once, I'm cool with that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Katasuno has to win. If Katasuno wins, that ruins the plot of the anime. <laughs> I, uh, again, uh, that was a joke. This anime doesn't really have plot armor, right? And whenever Katasuno wins, it actually does make sense. And Katasuno is actually, right now, this match is 50-50. You know, actually, it's it's actually in favor of Katasuno a little bit just because they, they, they took the first set. So if Katasuno does beat you know, Inarizaki, it would make sense. No plot armor. I'm just, I'm just throwing some anime trope jokes out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, but good shit. Kenma, he's a fucking computer. I definitely have more respect for him and the whole team, right? And honestly, they did a great job in the short two episodes. It only took two episodes for me to root for Nekoma more and to be attached to their characters more. Amazing job, because then if, if Karasuno wins and they play against Nekoma, I'm even that much more excited to watch the match. Amazing, great job. Again, great job with moments. That was a simple, perfect set into a bang into a bang spike we've seen that we've seen that millions of times in anime but because of their uh their ability to set it up in the, uh, with the music um w w with the speech and with the w with the facial expressions uh, before and afterwards i still get goosebumps every single time when moments like that happen so amazing all right cool well good luck to karasuno to take out uh inarizaki and the asumu brothers right awesome all right uh, that's gonna be it for uh, this reaction. Before I end, though, make sure you guys look at the links down below. You could find my Patreon, where I am ten episodes ahead, uh, with the full reactions available, and you could find my Discord. Come on in and join our little server. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one, and I'll see y'all for the next episode of IQ. I right? like and subscribe. Peace. <laughs>